hello and welcome to this channel in today's video we are going to learn how to create apps that sports both orientations of the iphone with both orientation what we means that is the portrait orientations when the phone is handled upside down or you can say vertically and the landscape orientation when the phone or iphone is handled by the user in the horizontal mode for example to more clarify let's say simulator this is the iphone simulator so if this is like that as currently seen on the screen then this is the portrait mode or you can say portrait orientations and if i rotate it to the horizontal side then it's the landscape orientation in order to control the orientation for your app you can control the orientations from here select this project select target under the journal tab we have the deployment info and here we have device and the device orientation control select portrait landscape left and landscape right so now in this tutorial what we are going to learn that how to create app or how to design our app that supports both orientation so open main dot storyboard and here what we go we will select the iphone 8 simulator and this is in portrait mode so here what we do we will first change the background color and here the background color of this view is little like this and then we will drag a ui button for the simplest reason let's say we will put it here and give it a leading constant of 20 and stop constant of 40 and the height and width will be 100 and then it's 50 so here it is and we will change the background color of this button to white one so now if i run the app at this moment so here the iphone is in the landscape so it's on the top left corner and if i remove and rotate it to the portrait mode it's also in the top left corner so now what's my requirement is that i want that when my device is in landscape mode then this button will be in the center so what i will do how i will achieve this so here what we will do we will select this orientation landscape and then here there is an option vary for traits so we will select that the vary for traits and here we will introduce variation based upon the height of the device okay because in portal mode that the height and if i select height then it lists all the iphone devices we are not covering the ipad in this tutorial because ipad has some different approach and in iphone they, we have different heights that vary according to the devices so here we will introduce the, that in landscape that height will become width and it will vary according to different devices so we will introduce variation depends upon the height so here we'll select height and here it say that there are seven compact height devices so now we will select this button and here we will and clear constants so when I clear constants it creates this constant for this landscape orientation but the portrait orientation constants are still there so what I will do I will select this button and I will horizontal and also I will add the width of 200 and height of 200 so here it is this button and now add so here you can see the four constraints are added these are for the portrait and these are for the landscape so done varying and if i turn this to portrait you can see the button is still there and the landscape this is here so let's run the app So here in portrait oh sorry in landscape you are seeing the button is a little bigger and in center and when i return turn the device to the portrait it's become to the top left corner 
So this is a very small tutorial where you learn how to give different constraints for different orientation of devices and we only covered how to create landscape and portrait design different design for your iPhone apps that supports only the iPhone devices not the iPad ones. So this is the one way. There is another way that we will learn in the future videos. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and do share this video and if you like our channel then please subscribe it as we are going to bring more videos in near time. Lastly have a nice time and thanks for watching. Bye for now.